Let's see what semblance is like. Semblance. Semblance. I'll be uploading footage of it, Derek. I might even go back to it quickly in a minute. Just so you can see what it is. Semblance. This looks artsy fartsy already. Look at this. All right. Semblance. Why the hell was this in a different language when it said push start? Is that slime son? I swear I pushed English, so if this ain't in English, I don't know what happened. Wow, look at that visual. Another loading screen. Do I like... Did I like SoCal Retro Expo? Yeah. SoCal Retro Expo is actually, like, one of my favorite conventions to go to. That's like the environment, the people, the weather, even though it was a little chilly this time. Um, I like partying in L.A. It's very fun. Okay, so I'm a purple little blob. I'm a purple blob in a purple world. There we go. All right. That's cool. I could dash into the environment to... Oh, shit. Really? Really? Pasadena Convention Center was way better than Frank and Sons. Um, yeah. Definitely was. And there was a lot of good food places close by. Definitely looking forward to next year's SoCal Retro Game and Expo. Okay, what's... Alright, so I guess I gotta get each of these trees in order to proceed. Drinking that purple stuff, that purple drink, says Derek. Cliff Conway, come on purple, let's go burpee. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh yeah. Do I remember when that Barbie song first came out? Everybody and their fucking mother used to listen to that. Like, that, that whole period of time for music was so weird. Like, Barbie Girl and um, fucking um, Macarena and, like, all that stuff. Like, music was so weird. Oops. I, didn't need not, I did not need to go back to that. Why would I do that? Come on, 8-inch Eric. Have you played Nuclear Throne yet? I saw it in Blaster Master Zero Two on the eShop. Hoping they both be great. I've not played Nuclear Throne on the Switch, but I've played it in the past. Um, actually, one of my good friends or colleagues um, knows the guy who made the game, um, and I played it at PAX South a couple years ago. And I think there was like figurines and stuff for it. If I'm thinking of the same game, and then. Um, Blaster Master Zero uh, 2, I have not played it yet, but I, I I know the developer. They've emailed me before, and I'm pretty sure they're going to send me a copy, so I'm looking forward to it. I would like Blaster Master Zero 1 and 2 to be physical. Who let the dogs out? Spice Girls, yep. I just your panel. is cool hearing your story about growing up. Thanks, Cliff. Appreciate that, man. My panel this year didn't get as much of an attendance as it did for last year. But, you know, it was still a lot of fun. Who let the dog down? That was another song that was like... And then Tub Thumping, I Get Knocked Down. It's like... That's a weird era in fucking music. 
Okay, what's going on here? What's going on here? There we go. So this is kind of a little creative puzzle game. I'm going to tell you that much. That was cool. I'm definitely digging the, the art, the aesthetics of it. Look at that. Oops, shit. Gotta hit that lower. Look, like that. over here what's going on y'all breakfast okay nope can't do that Shelly Miller the Twitter pick alrighty you and Billy aren't too shy huh I mean I wrestle pretty much in my chonies so uh, now I'm depending on the circumstance cotton high joe favorite ice cream flavor um it's it's it depends honestly um I'm usually a cookies and cream guy um but recently I've been doing cookie two step I don't think a lot of you guys, um, depending where you live, is if you have Bluebell ice cream available. But Bluebell is in Texas, and I think it's in some areas of the South. Um, it's the shit. If you've never had Bluebell ice cream, I highly recommend that you get it. Um, I often, <laughs> I often refuse to eat any other kind of ice cream that's not Bluebell. If, if we're gonna be utterly, completely honest. A lot of times, I I don't eat ice cream unless it's Bluebell. So, um, looks like Celeste gameplay mechanics a little bit. Do I like Smash Ultimate? Yeah, I would like to sink my teeth into it a little bit more, but I haven't I haven't done it. God damn it! I bet I just don't have to jump. Just go up. There we go. Um. I like Celeste a lot. It's been a while since I played it. I didn't play through it. I probably went about 80% of it. But yeah, Cookie Two-Step. What Cookie Two-Step is, is it is essentially cookies and cream and cookie dough put together in one fucking flavor. Like, you guys have no idea how fucking awesome Cookie Two-Step is. Okay. Bluebell's top quality agree. Your mom's from Texas. She showed you it. Yeah, it's 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 fucking phenomenal. It really tastes like homemade ice cream. And at Game On Expo this last year, there was a lady that was selling ice cream, and it tasted just like fucking Bluebell. And I, I was like, Are you sure this ain't Bluebell? Cause it fucking tastes like it. And she's like, no, we don't have Blue Bell here. And I was like, well, that's how nobody would know in fucking Arizona that you were selling Blue Bell. Because you literally could just fucking buy it and make a fucking ice cream stand. And nobody would fucking know the difference. What's going on? This has interesting fucking gameplay, I'll tell you that much. How am I supposed to get up there?
Got them. You work at Dairy Queen, and we have a flavor called Cookie Jar, which is both Oreo and Cookie. That sounds good. Ben and Jerry's is my favorite. See, I haven't had Ben and Jerry's. Stranger Things trailer. I have not seen it yet. No spoilers, por favor. I'm waiting on Stranger Things Season 3, though. Been waiting on that. I've benched the fuck out of the first two seasons, like, three times already. This game is interesting, I will say. There's all these like quirky little artsy like indie games that pop up and they're essentially like almost exactly the same, but they're kind of this weird creepy like I would say, I wouldn't say Tim Burton vibe to them, but but you know what I mean? Like they they kind of have like a weird cute little little thing going on as far as like what what they're like. Do I go back this way? What's this game? This is Symbolance. Symbolance. I have no idea if I was supposed to jump back in there or what's going on. I don't I don't think so. I think I yeah, I think I'm doing good. As a stream, you're watching Castlevania because the first season of Netflix Castlevania is on DVD. I have not seen it. I still have not seen um, Castlevania on Netflix. Yeah, I know. Shame on me, right? J Chip, what's up, man? July 4th, it's dropping. Yeah, I think, I think Stranger Things is coming out July 4th. Fuck. Okay, this is a fucking interesting little puzzle here. It's gonna be some shit like that. me dude I take care of your pops yeah yeah it's, I, I my dad's about he's gonna be 80 actually in a couple months fuck so I supposed to fall right there I don't know I have no clue going on here there we go boom taking care of your old man is a man's move my friend well done thank you this has a celeste plus world of goo vibe i'm sorry to hear that man condolences retro station and derek 
<sighs> my dad's 80, and he's, he's, for the most part, he's all right. It's hard for him to get up and get down and stuff. I kind of want to start working him out. I just, I don't know what I, I, like, maybe do yoga or something with him. Uh, but, yeah. Should I do that? I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do. Here we go. Oh, okay. Now I see what to do. Check this out. Oh, fuck me. Cliff Conway donated five. Gotta support the live stream. Man. That fucking laugh always fucking scares the living shit out of me. Ted fucking DiBiase, guys. Oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. There we go. Stretch him out? Yeah. I'm gonna probably do it. Do some DDP fucking yoga with him. Your mom was 61. My grandma died at like 59. It's pretty sad. But she had a lot of um, health issues. Everyone's got a price spec. You're not wrong. I've met Ted DiBiase a couple times, actually. Pretty cool guy. This is a quirky little game, I'll tell you that much. Should wrestle Pixel Dan? Yeah, Pixel Dan wrestles. Um, it almost happened. At a, if there would have been a Retro Palooza San Antonio, uh, more than likely it was going to happen, at least there. But uh, Retro Palooza San Antonio didn't happen, unfortunately. We were trying to set that up. Fuck. God damn it. Really? Don't want to do that. Yeah, every, I remember like last year he was saying, we were starting to like work it on Instagram or uh, Twitter, basically talking shit to each other, but it never happened. It would have been cool. There we go. Thought you said I meant Ted Bundy or Al Bundy. Am I ever gonna wrestle in LA? I, I had in the past, but um, right now, probably not. <laughs> Your finisher should be the 8-bit elbow. So my finisher, I have brass knucks that I use. Um, it's easy finisher. You get hit on anybody. I don't got to worry about picking up huge fucking big muscle guys or fat dudes. I don't got to lift anybody. I just brass knuck old school. You know, ref ain't looking. Fucking boom. Knock him out. I call it the knuckle sandwich. And it works. It's effective.
Winchester and Frank Frankie DeFalco. Cool, man. Yeah, what WWE just does is when they um, when they go into town somewhere, they have they use extras, basically local talent, to be like security, like on on video or you know people that get beat up and stuff. Um, I did it one time in Waco at a house show, and I wish there was pictures or something. But basically, this was a few years ago when CM Punk was doing the Straight Edge Society. Um, he would call somebody from the fan, like a fan, to go in the ring, get their head shaved. Well, what we did that night in Waco was I denied it. Like, he was like, you're going to do it, Eric. You're going to be part of the Straight Edge Society. And I chickened out. They were going to test this out. I think they might have did it on TV the week after. But basically, I was like, oh, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. So Luke Gallows big booted me right out of my seat. And they both stomped me and beat me up. And Rey Mysterio came out and made the save. And... It set up for a match between Mysterio and CM Punk later that evening. It was at a house show. So I was fucking... I was... It was cool. It was badass. But I wish it was on fucking tape. So I could share it. Or show it off. Which I'm, I'm an inch taller than Mysterio, by the way. But Mysterio's fucking jacked. And in shape. But uh, it, was, it was very, very, very cool. So I got to do an in-ring segment with CM Punk... And Rey Mysterio. If we look up the house show results for that date, um, it says uh, CM Punk and Luke Gallows beat up a fan, and Mysterio made the save. That was that fan. That fan in the crowd was me. And Luke Gallows kicked the fuck out of me. Like I'm not even kidding. Like I thought I owed him lunch money. But then I actually wrestled. Um, Mike Knox and Luke Gallows as the Aces and Eights. I wrestled them at um, at River City Wrestling here in town. I had a tables match. It was three against them two. It was me and two guys versus them two. Um, I, the match is somewhere on YouTube. I might have actually uploaded it. Uh, I took a pretty sick table bump at the end of that match. Um, basically, they, they both picked me up for like a double choke slam. And threw me over the top rope into like a whole shitload of tables. It was pretty cool. But I, I've i met Luke Gallo several times uh, throughout the years and stuff. And he's pretty cool. He's always been a real cool guy. Not trying to name drop or anything. Hernandez, not Hercu Hercules. Hernandez was is, was a guy in the eighties in WWE. Or Hot stuff Hernandez or Hernandez Supermax, yeah, from from TNA or Impact slash Lucha Underground. Uh, wasn't with him. I was teaming up with a couple other people. Matter of fact, in a minute, I might look up that match and see if I can link you guys. But yeah, this is semblance. I'm not going to play much longer of it. You guys get the idea of how it how it plays. It's kind of like a quirky little platforming puzzle game. How am I supposed to get that one? So it looks like there's one right there. Fuck. So yeah, this is a uh, semblance. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right here. Not bad. I mean, it kept me entertained, but it's definitely a game that's kind of slow-paced, more like a chill type of game. 